Luca Most Prime here, so it's time to add another video about stars or the comments to be in the Age of Public Qui Gon Jing dub. So, uh, without further ado, put on the full screen and let's go! Alright. Here we go. Hmm, that's a cool um, cover. <laughs> of course, with the comments theme. That's a nice music, by the way. Oh, right in the action already. <laughs> they are still coming, Master Jedi. Yes, Mistress Fear. I had noticed. I suggest that we keep moving as well. Hmm. Why? Ready the ship. The priestess of the woods and I are heading your way. Hmm. We're not alone. It sounds like the negotiations didn't end well. There is little middle ground between cutting down a tree and not cutting down a tree. Mistress Fear's opposition seems willing to cut down anyone who stands in their way. Master Jedi? Who is that voice in Qui-Gon? It doesn't sound like um, Bradley Frew, does it? Oh. Your blood. Who's this? Mistress Fear. The trees will bow with one. That looks like a Star Wars version of Fanal, doesn't it, a little bit? You think you can face the might of a Jedi warrior? You and your blasphemy will be... <laughs> What are you? Hmm? I was sent to find a peaceful solution to your problem, mistress. And this is clearly not the time or the place where cooler heads will prevail. Don't let them escape! Hang on, mistress. How dare you! Take us up! <laughs> Alright. And that's all caught up in scare started. Back to Coruscant. I cannot abandon my trees to the Metal Clan. By your own laws, by their own admission, they need your word or your blood to harm a single leaf. For now, they shall have access to Neva. Coruscant. A city of metal, of course. Why have you brought me to this abomination of a world? Hey, you come on, Coruscant's not an abomination, it's an amazing place. You mean Sapphire the City? <laughs> Strike them down with your lightsaber. In this conflict. That is not for way of a Jedi, mistress. But you fought for me. You chose my side. I defended your life. Whatever you may think, I... I had heard the Jedi were great warriors. But running at the first sign of a fight? The legends never hinted at your cowardice. Master Qui-Gon. Oh, you your report. The Council's request. Master Yoda, surely you did not track me down for a mere report. Especially when my Padawan has been so diligent in filing his own. No. Great turmoil I sense in you. And new. Hmm, I think it's kind of asking Yoda's going for like a Frank Cos impression. If I am to be honest, this mission, the words of a priestess of wood, there are concerns that I have had for some time now. A coward you are not, Qui-Gon Jinn. It sounds pretty You're close. Planning. You had to leave. Being called a coward isn't what bothered me, Master Yoda. It was being called a great warrior. Even here on Coruscant, there is little understanding of our purpose. We are seen as soldiers, servants of politicians, with little mention of the Force itself. Mysterious the Force remains to many. And misunderstood, those who use the Force often are. Mm. And yet, yeah, I can tell that he's not going for a Tom Kane impression, is he? As you ordered a voice actor, he's not going to sound like Tom Kane. We are used as weapons of a Republic, and thus we are seen as such, perhaps even by ourselves. Mm. On this point, Love the music in the background, by the way. Of course. Be it for council or myself, I feel there is a loss of vision. When questions we have, a deeper understanding from the Force we must seek. On that we agree, Master Yoda. And a metal city as Mistress Fear so 
Oh, he's got a starfighter. And he's got a, a droid, too. Quagan looks so cool in a starfighter with that headpiece on, doesn't he? Never thought I'd see him wearing that. Oh yeah, the same like hyperspace device that Obi Wan using attack of clones. <laughs> as well as myself. Oh, he's, he's come out. Oh, what's this? Yes, chartered long ago, but not considered important enough to have a designation. No evidence of technology, but an abundance of life. Hmm. Let's see why the force brought me here. Yeah, let's see. A beautiful place. Hmm. But there must be more to it than simply. Wait. So there's more to it then. If, I he's, sense if he senses something. something. Something feels wrong. Cold. There is a corruption here. Oh, I can never see fame. A darkness. Who knows? The force. It is strong here. The dark side. Temptation. Or a lesson. I seek answers from the living force. Perhaps even in this dark monument. Mm. I am meant to find light. Oh? Oh, Jewel of Fates, nice. What are these? Oh. Oh no, they're covering him up. Those red things. Oh gosh, suffocating him. No. Oh, was it a dream? Just a vision. Oh, thank goodness. But what did it? The light found its way in. Balance, but for a means beyond conflict. Violence sows the seeds of the dark side. Unchecked, the Jedi could become that which we fight against. Mistress. Ah, oh, Master Jedi. I am attempting to enjoy what little nature this planet offers. There are far more useful places for you to visit during your stay. What do you mean? The Metal Clan has recruited powerful off-world allies to their cause. You must do the same if you trees are to survive. More outsiders to strip our world of everything we value, you mean? Enriching your people doesn't mean destroying your way of life. Not if you can find balance, compromise. There are people from a thousand worlds on Coruscant. Worlds for the face similar struggles. You may see it as a city of metal, but there is wisdom to be found here. And allies. Hmm. Very well. I will give your supposed allies a chance to argue their case. But... For the sake of my trees, I hope you are right. Answers did you find? I did. And as often as with the Force, more questions. Hmm. Good questions are. Ask them we must. Certainty in our understanding. To arrogance it leads. To the dark side. Hmm. And yet becoming too rigid is also a risk. A tree that won't bend will snap with the wind. Ever present the dark side is, and a threat always. Bend to it, we must not. Of course not, Master Yoda. The 
The dark side consumes, and there is no balance to be found in such a path. And what is our purpose if not balance? Hmm. Is that it? Wow, that was uh, that was really amazing. I really love this comic dub. Um, so yeah, highlights was definitely you know uh, the voice acting was really good from all the cast. Um, I wouldn't say they sound you know exactly like you know the movie actors. You know like. I think, you know, whoever voice Quagga needs to sound a bit more like, you know, uh, Liam Neeson. I'm not sure if this was Bradley Frew or not, but yeah, if it is him, if it's not him, then um, they should try and listen to Bradley Frew because he does an amazing impression of Liam Neeson. As for Obon, I think it was um, Chris Burns, I think it was. Um, I think he used to try and say a bit more like Ewan McGregor more when, it, when voicing Norby One because um, I couldn't really hear much of you in it if he, as he was trying to go for. Um... I thought he did sound pretty close to Frank Oz. Like I said, I could tell that he was doing impression of Frank and not of Tom Kane. I also liked the voice of uh, the mistress too. I thought she was pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, everyone did a great job. Um, also, the music choices were also beautiful as well. Definitely really nice to hear. And he did a great job of sound effects too. I really love this dub. I'll be checking out more of the Age of Republic dubs very soon as well. Sorry to me reacting to um, Star Wars Age of Republic, Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, audio drama by Star Wars Audio Comics. So yeah, uh, be sure to give this video a like. Also, there'll be sure to let us all on the comments what you thought of this audio drama. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel for those coming in the future, and I'll see you all later.